in my experience, it's there's nothing like this that's gone on in any other part of the, the UK um, using the uh, method that we use because we use um, a number of techniques with, uh, you know, literature, literature reviews, uh, case studies um, uh, with, with, with four different housing associations in different uh, contexts. So, you know, rural ones, uh, ones with uh, providing specialist services, uh, urban uh, and place-based um, associations. So, so, so we covered a lot of uh, ground there. Uh, and, and we were quite ambitious, really, um, because we um, we tried to link what they were doing to uh, to, to national performance frameworks. So I think it shows uh, it shows what, what organisations can can do in, in the future, and um, we hope it's going to be something that's got wider significance, uh, you know, uh, beyond Scotland in, into other parts of the UK as well. Yeah, I mean, the other thing we did do in the report was um, really look at the um, the context uh, w which each of the case studies was situated. So, so we could pull off quite a lot of information on um, the type of population that lived there, how uh, you know how economically active they were, you know what what age groups that, uh, that they were, at, how how happy they were with the neighbourhood, but lots of different things that w we could. Uh, place the research in, into that context so 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 strategically from a housing association's point of view they, they could actually um reassure themselves that, that the things that they were doing were meeting the um uh, the needs of those those communities it was kind of rooted in in, in a uh, a data context which helps to um helps to demonstrate the uh, the the added value which uh, uh, and social value uh, uh, housing associations can bring 